we obviously needed a captain. I thought Ben Stokes was by far and away the best person to do it. And I know there's a lot being said about, well, he's the only one. Well, regardless, if you had lots and lots of leaders in that dressing room, Ben Stokes would still be the best person to do it because he's got a great cricket brain, in my opinion. Um, he's got the respect of the dressing room. He has been a leader in that for the last however long he's been in it. Almost coming as a young man, he was someone that people follow. And I think that's so important. The other thing that I noticed while speaking to him, and I, I knew him a little bit before this, He's got a hell of a lot of empathy for the players around him. He cares about the people. He's not one of these great players who just goes off and does his own thing. He is someone that is constantly thinking about the people around him and how he can make them better. And I think they're all just great traits for being a captain, really, and hence why he wants to do it. And that was the only question, really. It's like, do you want to do this, Ben? Because yeah, you know what it's going to be. It's going to be doing the media. It's going to be trying to manage your workload. All that type of stuff. Realistically, though, Rob, isn't it the case that you were backed into something of a corner? There wasn't really a credible alternative who could be guaranteed their place in the side, was there? Well, there was no one who could be guaranteed their place in the side. That when you look at it and you go, right, he's definitely the man to captain that. But I think there would have been options. There's no question about that. Did you consider other options then? No, I didn't because as soon as my first question really was, Ben, do you want to do this job? And as soon as he said, and he was very keen to do it, then actually it took a lot of the thinking out there. But there's a lot of very good people in English cricket. You know, I spoke to Moen Ali the other day. You know, if Ben Stokes didn't want to do it, you could have tried to convince Moen Ali to come back, to come and do it in an interim basis. Mm. James Vince, there's lots of names out there. There's people, younger people in that dressing room. There would have been options to do it, but nobody nowhere near as good as what Ben Stokes was. Nonetheless, isn't it something of an indictment of the state of the team at this point that there weren't that many other candidates who, as we've discussed, can be sure of their place other than Ben? Yeah, I think that's an indictment on English cricket, don't you? That we get to a point when there's not lots of standout people that mm. you're looking at to go and be England's test captain, that they have all the boxes tick, that they get in the side, they're a senior player in that side, that you're convinced that they can drive it on forward everything. And that's a problem with our game, actually. That's something we have to address. So the next time, when Ben Stokes comes to the end of his tenure as a captain, yeah. that we're not looking around and going, well, who's going to be captain now? You know, we have to get... These are things that me in this role, and at the moment, there's three or four big decisions that need to be made. But then things like that are what excites me about trying to get that right. It's only a matter of months ago, Rob, that, that Ben had to have some time away from the game because mm -hmm. of mental health problems that he was suffering with. Therefore, is this not something of a risk? I think whoever it would be with a the risk, there's always that with everyone. You never know. When you go into an elite sport like this, when you take on responsibility in anything, you never know how it's all going to turn out. You just hope and you pray that everything's going to work out well. And I have no doubt that that would be the case. And what I would say for Ben and all those players in that, the one thing in the first week, you're trying to find out what's been going on. You're trying to have a look and see what's the real story. As a broadcaster, I had my views on what was going wrong. Yeah, and then you come in and you start finding out. And what I would say, all those players, the coaches, Ashley Giles, Chris Silver, people like that, you get into these jobs so you can try and win a few games of cricket, drive English cricket forward. They have had probably the hardest time English cricket's ever had in terms of managing people, players, everyone at the ECB. You know, with all the stuff, they've spent more time trying to work out if you could have breakfast out your room, you know, in a hotel in Sydney or somewhere like that, worrying about the bubble, all of those things they've had to do to get cricket on, which would have affected every single person's mental health in that. If you're in those bubbles, that has been tough. And Ben Stokes now, hopefully, we've got to get to a point where we can move on from that. Yeah. And I think that will help everyone's mental health. And Ben Stokes will be on that list as well. We know the toll that captaincy can take on players. We've seen yeah. it in the past. And we know what comes with being England captain. How do you ensure... How do, you, how do you give yourself the best possible chance of making sure that the burden doesn't affect his powers as a performer? Well, and that's something that we have to make sure we're trying to keep across all the time. That's part of my job, the coach, whoever is in charge, the leadership group around him, young players, senior players, everyone, every single person at the ECB. We have to make sure that we are making this job as smooth as it possibly can be for Ben Stokes. So he can go on and do everything that he's got to do on the field mm. because that's what's most important. You know, Everything else is up for debate. The only thing he has to do is go out there and perform like he can and lead England forward into the next era. And we've got to make sure we're managing everything else around him so it works. So he's, he's doing his bit so people can feel that, you know, like you do with people like Ben Stokes, that the public and everyone can get behind him and that he's there, he's visible for them but also we've got to do what's right for him and whoever would be England captain.